Hello, welcome to the solutions to the problems from Chapter 3 of the book Cost Benefit Analysis Concepts and Practice by Boardman, Greenberg, Weining, and Weimer. The team is Suvranil and Adam. So, in the first problem, we are given quantity is equal to 6 minus 0.5p plus 0 0.0002 income, where I income being uh, $60,000, Q turns out to be 18 minus 0.5p which is the equation that we will use often in this problem. The first question is what is the price at demand zero? So price at demand zero is nothing but the choke price uh, and at choke price quantity is equal to zero. So price turns out to be 36. So next question is what is the quantity demanded for gizmos at the price $10? So if we input the price P is equal to 10 in the equation above, we get quantity is equal to 13. The next question asks about the price elasticity of demand at $10. So we know that definition of elasticity is the delta change in quantity by the delta change in price multiplied with the price by quantity. So in this situation, since it's a linear function, we know that delta Q by delta P is equal to 0 point, minus 0 0.5. This is negatively sloping. And at P is equal to 10, Q turns out to be 13. So the elasticity is minus 0 0.56. The consumer surplus at $10 is the region below the demand line and above the price line, which is graphically the gray shaded area bounded by $36 on the price axis and $10 while 0 and 13 in the quantity axis. So that turns out to be 169. So the consumer surplus at $12 is a little smaller region now bounded by graphically the blue region which is between the $36 and $12 on the price axis and $0 and $12 in the quantity axis. So that turns out to be $144. Therefore the change in consumer surplus is $169 minus $144 that is $25. Now if the price rises from $10 to $12 and I now becomes $80,000 Q is 22 minus 0.5 P. So the loss in consumer surplus due to change in price from 10 to 12 is the yellow plus red region graphically, which is a triangle plus a rectangle and can be computed as 33. In the next problem, we need to understand the supply schedule. So we know elasticity can be written as delta Q by delta P into P by Q. Using that, we can identify delta Q by delta P is equal to 0.5, which is nothing but the slope of the supply schedule. Assuming linearity, we can think of the equation as Q is equal to A plus 0.5 P. At market equilibrium, we can identify A to be minus 10. So the supply schedule now becomes Q is equal to minus 10 plus 0.5 P. Now we need to identify the producer surplus at $40. The producer surplus is the area above the supply line but below the price line which is graphically the region gray plus red plus yellow. So it comes out to be 100. Now what would be the fall in producer surplus if the price falls from $40 to $34? So the price drop would cause the producer surplus to drop which is graphically the red plus the yellow region. The yellow region is the drop in producer surplus due to drop in price and the red region is the drop in producer surplus due to less quantity consumed that turns the total producer surplus drop turns out to be 51 and 9 by 51 part of it is due to the reduction in quantity sold and 42 by 51 part of it is due to the reduction in price in the next problem we need to compute the compensating variation to achieve the same level of utility after a price increase since there has been an increase in price from 0.2 to 0.3, we would need to increase the budget by 22.47 to be able to achieve the same level of utility 111.80. So the person needs to be compensated with 22.47 to be equally well off after a price increase. Now the change in consumer surplus can be given by the equation below and it comes out to be minus 21.37. So this concludes the problems from our chapter 3. Thank you for your time and interest.